So understand, when someone just says re rejects to the incarnation, there's a whole backdrop about is it really even needed in the first place? It's kind of like, isn't God like taking radical measures to do this rescue? Why not just send a prophet to point us the way? That's what he's been doing. Isn't that cool? Nah, it's not enough because the prophets have their own sin. The high priest has his own sin. Do you guys see that? The divine rescue is needed. So the incarnation is necessity for the salvation of man. That's key for you to understand because when you talk to someone, you're not just talking merely with what they're saying. You're dealing with the presuppositions behind their worldview, the things that are underlying and undergirding why they say what they say. Of course, the same is true for us. That's why we need to examine our presuppositions to see if they line up with Scripture. Colossians 2.9, great Scripture. This is one to remember. For in him, the speaking of Jesus, the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. Imagine saying that about a prophet. Because it's true, Jesus was a prophet. Not merely a prophet, though, right? 